With the COVID pandemic seemingly in the rearview mirror, international travel is finally coming back. A United Nations report last month found that international tourism essentially tripled in the first five months of this year compared to 2021. Still less than half of it what, what it was before the pandemic, but the trend is really changing at a rapid pace as restrictions ease and people feel more comfortable traveling internationally. Earlier this afternoon, I talked about all this with Elizabeth Carey from AAA of Western and Central New York. She just happens to be on an international trip of her own right now in Europe. She joined me from Lyon, France. Liz, it's always great to have you on the show, and we especially appreciate you taking some time uh, considering you're on this trip. I guess let's just start with your kind of personal experience and what you've witnessed so far as you're on this international trip. Well, uh, what we've noticed is that the airports were bustling, a lot of activity in the airports, and a lot of the big metropolitan areas, like we started in Barcelona, Spain, very busy, a lot of people. But then we went to some more remote areas where they said, you know, there used to be a line to get in uh, in 2019, and they haven't seen that line increase and get that long again. Um, so it's kind of a mix there. And what we're seeing from AAA is like, for instance, Labor Day international travel bookings were up 104% compared to last year. So we're definitely seeing a rebound since the restrictions have uh, loosened up a little bit. What are the things that people need to know about right now if they're booking these trips or they're maybe preparing for one that was already booked? Well, first of all, arrive to the airport early. If you're taking an international trip, you want to get there four hours in advance and make sure you have a long connection in between just to make sure that you can get to the international gate. And, um, you know, if we flew out of Philadelphia, for instance, from Buffalo. So we want to make sure we had plenty of time to get through customs, et cetera. So you're going to want to build that time in there and see if you can pack light and use just a carry on luggage. That way, if your flight gets diverted, you'll have your luggage with you. Uh, those are always great tips and use the airlines app to make sure uh, you're getting up to date information about your flight and if it's been canceled or delayed. Yeah, I mean, we've seen such a travel nightmare with so many domestic flights and you mentioned the whole baggage issue. Is it just as bad with international travel right now as we're seeing with some of the domestic travel here? Yes, I mean, we've seen some um, international airlines, for instance, say uh, we don't want to have these delays anymore. They're spring, sometimes bringing their own baggage people on their flights just to make sure they have people to unload the baggage when they get to the different airports. So it's definitely an in international concern. It's not just in the United States. And they've said that throughout our travels here in France, um, that they've seen the same situations that we've seen in the States. So it's amazing when you see what the global pandemic has done. There's a shortage of taxi drivers and there's a shortage of airport workers. So it, it, it's definitely an international issue. Liz, I'm actually planning um, a trip for a few months from now overseas. And one of the things that struck me is there are some good deals out there. Um, what are what are you seeing big picture in terms of prices for these international trips, whether we're talking about flights or, you know, a, a cruise like you're on now or maybe just going to one of these popular destinations? Yeah, prices are definitely still reasonable because they're trying to encourage people to return to that international travel. So uh, some of the prices might be going up in the States, but they're coming down for some of the international trips. Uh, so you'll see some of the river cruise companies, for instance, offering free airfare if you book the river cruise. Uh, there's a lot of different options out there. And, and once we've seen over here, the prices are very reasonable compared to home. And, and the euro is really on par with the U.S. dollar about right now. So uh, that's easy for travelers to deal with as well. Yeah, the strength of the dollar right now is a very nice perk for people from here <laughs> traveling overseas. Finally, Liz, let me end with this. Um, we're seeing this increase in travel because there are so many fewer COVID restrictions, right? But there are still some places um, where it's not fully back to normal. Anything people need to know about, you think, in terms of how to prepare for those restrictions and rules? Yeah, think about where you're going and what rules are in place. And if you have a travel agent, they could help you with that. But what's interesting is like to be on the river cruise, for example, they wanted to you to show that you were vaccinated. But to get on the airplane, you didn't have to show that. So there's going to be different rules depending on where you're going and different countries. Um, all of them seem to be uh, loosening up a little bit. And when you think about all the different opportunities to travel here, the history, we saw Roman ruins dating back 2,000 years ago. We saw medieval castles. Uh, there's just so much to see and explore. And we're seeing a lot of people saying, you know what, we didn't get to go many places during the pandemic and we want to go out and see the world. So uh, it's definitely on the ride. Yeah, demand is sky high to take those trips because people have waited so long. The State Department website, too, by the way, is a great resource for people looking for what the rules are uh, in different spots. We've been talking with Liz Carey with AAA of Western and Central New York, um, taking a break from your vacation from your trip overseas in Lyon, France. Uh, great to see you, Liz. Thanks so much. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're having a great trip and um, we hope everyone has their safe travels as they head back home. So thanks for having me.